So in a last video, I showed you that uh, geometric sequence is just compound interest. Uh, you put money in the bank and you wait six years and then at the end you can withdraw more money. It's great. Um, but sometimes, or probably most of the time, the way that people actually save money is they put money into the bank every month or every year, whatever it might be. And so those regular deposits or that savings plan is also a geometric sequence uh, and it's pretty pretty tricky but uh, let's take a look at what it actually looks like my question I put $1,000 in a bank account at the start of every year if the interest is 8% per annum how much will I have at the end of the 10th year so that means that I'm putting uh, $1,000 in the bank here $1,000 in the bank here $1,000 in the bank here and so on draw this timeline and you always should draw a timeline when you're doing a question like this uh, now, I put $1,000 in at the start of the first year, $1,000 in at the start of the second, so on, so on, $1,000 in the start of the fifth, $1,000 at the start of the tenth. And the question is, how much money will I have uh, at the end of the tenth year? So the start of the eleventh year, the end of the tenth year, it's the same thing. All right, let's, uh, let's look at how this works. It's crazy. We take the $1,000, we move it from there to there. And... That $1,000 has earned one year worth of interest. So it's going to be uh, 1,000 um, times 1 1.08, because it's like a compound interest question, but it's only one, it's only one year, so it's the power of one. This $1,000 will be $1,000 times 1.08 to the power of 2 because it's been two years this will be $1,000 times 1 1.08 to the power of 4 and so on 0 0.08 to the power of 5 if you look at what we've got what we've actually got is a uh, geometric sequence. We're going to take $1,000 times 1.08 and then $1,000 times 1.08 squared and $1,000 times 1.08 to the 4 and uh, that should be 3 all the way up to this one's going to be $1,000 uh, times 1.08 and you need to be a bit careful here. Uh, so this one is like the last term to the power of one, the second last term to the power of two. It's actually the first term. First term to the power of one. This is the tenth term, so it's going to be to the power of ten. Okay, and so what we've got is actually ten numbers that are all raised to the or multiplied by the power of one point point zero eight. It's a geometric series, but it's actually kind of like a geometric series in reverse. Um, so if I if I do it, the sum of a geometric series is equal to a the first term r to the n minus one over uh, r minus one. Now I'm gonna if we look at what's happening here, I'm just gonna add in an extra little thing, and then I'm gonna take it away again later. I'm gonna add in an extra one thousand there, so it's like at the end of the tenth year I put in an extra thousand dollars. Because if I do that, I can treat the $1,000 as my first term. So now in my formula, my first term is 1,000. And it's going to be the uh, growth rate, which is 1.08, or the common, common ratio, uh, to the power of, now, how many terms do I have? Uh, if I treat this 1,000 as my first term, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way to 11 terms, minus 1 all over um, r minus 1, 1.08 minus 1. And I can put that into my calculator, and I'll have the sum of 11 terms, but I'm not quite finished yet. And that gives me uh, $16,645.49. Okay, but I did add in an extra 1,000 because I wanted 1,000 to be my first term, so now I can just get rid of that extra 1,000 minus 1,000. So actually, I'll have $15,645.49 
in the bank at the end of the 10th year if I put $1,000 at the start of every year. Okay, um, now, just a few things before I wrap up. When you are doing these questions, you have to draw this picture. You have to plan it out, do a couple of them to see how it works. Because there's a million different ways this question can go. Maybe the $1,000 isn't at the start of the year. Maybe it's at the end of the year. And that shuffles everything forward and changes the way that everything works. Maybe it's happening every month, which is going to change that 8% per annum to 0 0.08 divided by 12. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of different factors that go into a question like this. So draw the timeline, mark it all out, spend some time thinking about how it works. Draw in your little arrows here to write it down. Then once you're confident you understand how the geometric series is progressing, then turn it into an actual geometric series. All right, regular deposits as a geometric series. Sorry. There.